Hello, family. It is your host, Gabelo Mpawani, and I'm back again with another episode. Um, I hope you guys are well, because I'm good. I'm very, very good. I am blessed to be specific. And I hope this season avails to you wonders and more opportunities. You know what I mean? So, um, in today's episode, how I got to overcome my fear or my boldness. Yeah, my fear <laughs> to, to become a podcaster, right? And how you guys or how we can meet, how we can manage or minimize expectations from people out there you know what i mean as individuals who who are destined for greatness you know who who want to achieve more who are ambitious you know what i mean so um to begin with um for the first time right i thought about becoming a podcaster it was something that comes with uh ish okay i really want to become a podcaster i really want to become a content creator but how am i gonna do this i don't have equipment um i don't have by the way guys i don't have instagram right so i don't have i don't use social media at all i only use whatsapp but as for social media that those social media platforms twitter threads i don't use it right and before i i i i decided to have Spotify for podcast and just begin the the journey. It was because firstly I used to post audios or videos, clips or snippets of my video encouraging people, um helping people to navigate through life, J through my life experiences or personal stories that I would share on that platform. That is WhatsApp. And it would get Boma 40 views because that would mean I have 40 contacts or something close to that, right? And for me, it was something of, okay, I'm not really looking for followership. I just want, even if it's that one person that could hear what I mean or what I'm saying, it would really warm up my heart <laughs> in a way. So, and then I said to myself, no, there's this, there's this app that you call, they call, oh, Spotify, Spotify. Um, on this platform, Spotify, I listen to podcasts a lot. Even YouTube too. I listen to, pod- I also have a YouTube channel, but I haven't posted in a while. You know what I mean? So I listen to podcasts, podcasts a lot, guys, a lot. If I were to write a list of people, that I listen to, it could be a list like Paul Google to Nganjuba. I hope I'm pronouncing the same name well. Um, Sism Pumili Duaba, a lot, a lot of people. Um, I, I, I want to say those ones because I really love them. <laughs> so I got inspiration from that too because I, I did not see myself having that. Big, 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 big platform. All because of my fear. Because I couldn't just have thousands of thousands of people listening to what, I, what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Because in my head, I'm like, I'm not making sense. You know, but I just want to do this, you know, for the people. You know what I mean? So, I think we can all agree that it was all fear. <laughs> because, I mean. But what I'm trying to say is that I never imagined myself in that shoe of holding a mic and just speaking you know what i mean so i just i i accessed that through whatsapp statuses and i kept on posting obviously family and friends but oh yeah that's a good one so accurate um this this that this this, this that's true wisdom at this call you know People will try to encourage you, even those who criticize you. As family and friends, they will try to give that constructive criticism. But for me, it did not cut it because I, 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 as a result of fear, to be quite precise, as a result of fear, for those people who asked me, why don't you begin a podcast? I said, no, I, I don't have equipment. <laughs> I don't have those petty excuses, you know, not to say they are petty because they're also, they also play a crucial part in this podcasting journey but 
I I just kept on saying no. I don't have a pod. I don't have a um. Not that I've healed, right? Because I once told you guys that first I I had not healed for my yeah experiences, traumatic uh, kind of experiences. So I needed to heal first so that I can come on this platform with. Not necessarily to inspire you guys, but to just help you to just hold your hand. You know what I mean? And put you through. Because at the end of the day, it's not even me myself who's going to do that. I just believe that God can do that for you as he already done. As he, he has already done that for me. You know what I mean? So, okay. Um, then... I put the fact that I did not have equipment at the core of it. Um, again, I told some of my friends, oh my God, it's it's exam season, right? So I cannot be psh, taking the podcast day, to get to the podcast day. And they said, no, you cannot keep postponing. We understood first, you had a YouTube channel, you complain about not having a camera ring light. Hey, 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 this, 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 this. But Spotify, you can do audios, right? Through your phone. You know what I mean? You can get a mic and all can be sold. Just start already. Start, start. You know what I mean? And besides my friends and family, I also got inspiration from this, this podcast that I listened to. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... It was on YouTube though. Yeah, I was watching the video on YouTube and he had invited Hape. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right. I she I think she owns she's from Lesotho. She owns black hair products, the salon and you know those beautiful stuff. And he asked her to give inspiration of how how to know how how do I explain this? Just to give inspiration for those people who want to begin businesses, but they do not know where to start. You know what I mean? And she just said, no, they should start messy. Start afraid. Start scared. Just start. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just start at the end of the day and you will recollect yourself throughout that journey. And you just you will just grow within that purpose you have been called to um, to, what, to achieve. You know what I mean? So... And then I got inspiration from there. That's when I began to just okay. I, I I cannot dispute the fact the fact that I'm fearful at this point in time. I cannot dispute the fact that I am not sure if I'm going in a right lane, you know. But at this point in time, in God I trust, right? I'm just gonna let God lead me and just guide me in the right paths because He is the light, the truth. And the and, and and the and the life basically the life the truth and the that's so so and then I just began okay I let me just do it already you know what I mean forget about what people are gonna say just overcome myself my my fear and just begin a podcast because it's something that I want deeply it's something that I have a burning desire of. But you know fear, guys. You know anxiety. You know all the sorts of emotions and mixed emotions that will cripple you and just um, stop you from achieving what you really want to achieve. So um, for the second segment of the podcast, of the audio, um, of the of the <laughs> episode, um, so here I have I have three ways. To minimize expectations out of people. I'll make an example with me. Expectations are those um, thoughts or perceptions that people think of you that, okay, Gabelo is a podcaster right now. And within five months, she she, she must have about 100 followers or 10,000 followers. Just those expectations, those, that even though they're not within your trenches or not within your strengths for them 
to actually happen you know um so i'm just gonna list three ways to minimize that or to manage those expectations for yourself and from those people out there the first one so i call this a car method or a car rule it basically has c a and r c stands for communicative a stands for appreciative and r stands for realistic car rule so um the communicative part means that when setting out goals or habits we ought to be communicative you know what i mean you need to be communicative and even with people having expectations of 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 people's lives out there you need to be communicative about them you need to tell them that i need you to do one two three one two three within a certain duration and in that manner they will know that they will be alerted that oh how am i gonna fulfill that or how am i gonna step um up and just tell him or her that i'm not going to be able to do this within that time limit or rather just being communicative you know what i mean of what's expected of us and what we what we expect out of people's lives and the third one being appreciative uh being appreciative basically means being thankful <clears throat> you know that's basically is like a synonym but just being thankful even for the smallest things that people um put out there you know that smallest um initiative just being grateful that okay i know you're trying you know you know when you see someone that they're trying to make something out of something you know they're making an effort and you're just you know what don't say anything uh, say no more i can see you're doing something you know so as we learn to be appreciative of people's initiatives it it in our mindset it shifts the 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 what it shifts our mindset in a manner that goes okay this person might n- might not have been able to achieve one two three one two three but at least they've done certain things you know so why not be appreciative for the things that have that they have put on the table because those it was with, within their strength to do that it took everything that they had or that they potentially had for them to do one two three one two three you know so the third one is being realistic with ourselves we have those unrealistic goals that we expect way way too much out of ourselves and people expect way way too much out of us and which is not really um logical or rational but what we have to do is just be realistic with ourselves it's okay to be ambitious it's okay to have a vision um a much bigger vision but it's also okay to start small you know because small steps lead to bigger results so yeah i would encourage us to be realistic and just look at the odds you know if you're planning on doing something look at the resources you have before dreaming big just look at what you have you know and how you can accumulate what you do not have and how your ability your strength to do that before you can oh i want to go to dubai i want to do those ambitions right that they there's nothing wrong with dreaming big but you need to have a vision first <laughs> you know what i mean and that vision you need to build it in small chunks you know because it's a risk i mean this life thing is a risk <laughs> i mean so yeah guys i hope I've been able to assist you. Um yeah. So please do give this video this I keep saying video. I don't know even the last episode I've said video but in this episode please do give this episode a five star review or four star review. Please not not anything less than that but I'll try my best to be better next time. Yeah guys, I hope you did enjoy. Um until next time bye